Back in the show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. we got a lot, of, a lot of stuff to talk about here today, including, yes, we actually have an investigation update, AW, the, uh, the issue that occurred after the press conference following All Out and the brawl involving CM Punk, the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, and a number of others. Everybody involved, including those breaking up the fight, ended up being suspended by AEW, and essentially they were sent home and nobody heard anything. There was no contact between AEW and anybody that was sent home. They were all just sitting there, no idea what's going on, just sitting. And uh, as of today, I don't know everybody who is off suspension, okay, but I believe that everybody who was involved in breaking up the fight is now off suspension. I know that uh, Pat Buck is off suspension, Brandon Cutler is off suspension, and I think some other people were called today and they're off suspension. So uh, right now, to the best of my knowledge, and I mean there may be phone calls being made right now for all I know, I believe that if you were involved in breaking it up, you are off suspension. But if you were actually involved in the fight, I presume even if that means someone threw a chair and hit you in the eyeball, you are still on suspension. So the good news is uh, the investigation has continued to the point where they are now taking people off suspension. But, I mean, everybody else who is still suspended is in the dark and just waiting to find out, are we going to get a call? Are we not going to get a call? Is there going to be some sort of on top of the suspension, will there be fines? Is anybody getting... No one knows anything. But that is the update today that some people, after uh, whatever it was, uh, a little over a week, eight, nine days, uh, some of these suspensions have been lifted. So that's the update. If we hear anything more during the show, I will let you know. Certainly not all that unusual either. You know, send them home without pay. Don't show up until we get this whole thing sorted out. And if they got one part of it sorted out, and we've seen... Pat Buck's name, and as you mentioned, Brandon Brandon Cutler, you know, come off of this suspension. This is no real, real surprise here. Last night, oh, Monday night, actually, Raw had its first head-to-head battle with Monday Night Football. And Raw had been doing very, very well. And Dave, it's interesting, Dave didn't think it was going to do is I shouldn't say did poorly, but it took a bigger hit than Dave expected. And now that we have the number, I mean, I can I can sort of make sense of, of this. The show ended up doing 1.71 million viewers and a .44 in 18 to 49 and a .31 in 18 to 34. Now, obviously, the big deal was the uh, competition from football. Denver Broncos, Seattle Seahawks. Uh, 19.79 million viewers, which is higher than usual. 5.59 in 18 to 49. 5.59. Emmys, 5.92 million. 1.09 in 18 to 49. And uh, we got all the rest of it here. The the three hours. First hour did 1.78 million. Second hour did 1.82 million. And the third hour did a 1.53 million. So what is my takeaway? I actually think it's it's kind of obvious what happened here. So if you remember, last uh, three, four, five years, uh, there were, in fact, um, drops when Raw went up against Monday Night Football. But uh, they they weren't all that horrible. Like, it was down, but it wasn't, like, you know, totally destroyed by Monday Night Football. And I think the reason for that is that, as I talked about, 2018, 2019, 20... I mean, this show is horrible. And we used to look at the year over year. My God, 18 to 49, they're down 44% in a year. Remember we would always talk about that? And the fact is, the show was so horrible from 2018 to about 2021 that uh, they drove off tons and tons of viewers. And so what happened was... You were, remember we had this argument, they're down to the hardcores, and you're like, they can always lose. Well, yes, they could always lose more. But they were down to largely a core audience where you're just going to watch Raw, dude. And the fact of the matter is, they were watching Raw, 
And when football season came, they kept watching Raw. And yeah, they lost some, but it wasn't like a massive decline. This is a big decline. Why? Well, because numbers have been up. And when the numbers go up from your bottom, what's happened is you've got some people that gave up on your show that over the last two months or whatever since Vince left, they decided, you know what, we're going to give this another shot. And they did. And they kept watching. But these are the people that every year prior to 2018, like they'll watch Raw and they'll watch it every week. They're giving it another chance. But, bro, they're watching football, and football is going to be the priority. So if you think about what happened the last several years, and you look at what happened this year, and you look at what the numbers were prior to this Monday, I think that's what happened. They brought people back that had given up on Vince to watch Hunter, but those people are still going to watch football over pro wrestling at this point. And they've kept their core audience. These 1.78, 1.82, 1.53, those are the numbers that we got every week when Vince was running the show. Like, though, that's your base. That's your hardcore base audience. And they're going to keep watching Raw through football season. And uh, I think that, unlike some years, I think that when football is over, I do think we're going to have a larger-than-usual rebound than we had 2018, 2019, 2020. So that is my uh, analysis of these numbers. Well, what was their lowest low? It was around one and a half million, right? Well, I mean, the, was... the, the lowest of the low was they've had some third hours that were right around 1.53 million. There were some but, holidays yes. where it was like 1.4, some 1.45 or something. But in general, on a normal night, 1.53 was about the bottom. And, and that's where the bottom it... was Monday. The number always stuck out in my mind, that range, because like WWE got down to that low, about 1.5 million. That's how many hardcores they have. And when you look at the history of Impact and when you look at Dynamite now and you go, what's their ceiling? Their max ceiling, I think Impact ever had was like around 1.3 million, 1.4 million. And that was pretty much was the same, is the same right now uh, for AEW. It's always, it's just interesting that that's about the number of hardest of hardcore fans that we have. And WWE is a little bit of a different breed in that their fans that are their most hardcore may not watch any other wrestling. They tend to be, many of them, just WWE. But this is just going to be something they have to run into right now. I mean, ESPN now has two channels dedicated to Monday Night Football, including a personality one that's got the Mannings on it. And when you have a game like Seattle and Denver that goes down to the wire... That's going to be an issue. You had the Emmys on. You had Love and Hip Hop Atlanta carve some out of the first hour. You had the Halloween Baking Championships, as corny as that sounds, with the female audience, especially, you know, especially them on the Food Network, which, again, Food Network, HDTV, these are top 10 cable stations now. They're much more in the mix than USA is most of the time. So when these places have big shows on, they are going to carve into this. But as you mentioned, once you get your audience built up a little bit more, you get more casuals in. You get more people who aren't as dedicated to wrestling. But if you can hook them, that's good. But when you get a thing like Monday Night Football or really any of these these top, top shows, whether it be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, no matter when they are, it's going to hurt. All I have is a few questions. Oh, good. My favorite. Is it duplex or suplex? Or is it both? A wrestling move where you <laughs> grab your opponent and throw him backwards through the air is a suplex. A housing complex with two homes built connected is a duplex. Yeah, it's never been duplex, Granny, but you've you've said this now for 15 okay, years, so we just I, yeah, let, it, yeah. let it go. Yeah. So I thought once and for all I want to know which it is. So it's duplex and not suplex. Right? No, a it's, suplex it's is suplex a suplex and not duplex. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> duplex is a housing development, Granny. Ulysses S. Grant battle we, scars. We, we definitely read these. Skip forward no, a few pages. No, no, okay, no. Okay, all right, all right, go ahead. We didn't do this one. Okay. Yeah, this person says we did. This person says I, we did it. I protest. There must be two of them then. I protest. <laughs> he wrote the same one twice. Yeah. I like this one about Grant so much. I'm going to put it in the book twice. I, I'm telling you, I wasn't back this time. Okay, far. fine. Read another one. Yeah, Everyone's saying we read these last week, Granny. Big deal. <laughs> Who cares, but everybody? All, but all the researchers today. Are you reading the book the wrong way? No. Okay. What do you think I am? <laughs> I don't know. You keep saying you're going back. <laughs> Why would we go back when reading a book? We're supposed to go forward. Maybe what happens, Granny, is you put the bookmark in, and then when you open it to that page, you start reading the ones we already read. 
Maybe the bookmark should go on the next page. No. Okay. <laughs> what do they say in court? I object. I object. Objection, Your Honor. Yeah, that's right. I didn't read that again. Overruled, Granny, you did. <laughs> All right. Anything else, Granny? You're guilty. <laughs> well. <laughs> go, to, go to jail. You're guilty was the high spot of the week. Oh, you shut I'll... me off. No. Oh, you're right here. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? There was some weird rumbling going on. Like uh -oh. she, she's unplugging your own cord there. I think you unplugged the cord. I can't hear you. you, you can you hear me? Can you hear me? I, I'll message you. I'll message you. I hear you now. Oh, now you do? Yeah, now I hear <laughs> <laughs> What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I don't know. Ah! All right. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.